Welcome to Postscript from Faithbridge Church. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the message by sitting down with the teacher of the day. Hi, and welcome to Postscript. I'm Louie Ann Riley, Grow Group Director, and I'm here with Pastor Ken, who just brought the first installment of a new series called Breathing Room. Today we talked about developing your core and we're gonna do a special edition of Postscript today and Pastor Ken's going to break down for us the method of Bible study that you talked about during the sure. um, message today, SOAP. First of all, what does SOAP stand for? Well, it's four words. So the first one is scripture, then observation, then application, then prayer. Okay, and how did you, how long, have you been using this message for a, method for a long time, a long time. from what I understand? Yeah, a long time now. Let me talk, should I talk through, okay, yeah, I love talking it. about it. Um, and so, so here's one or two uh, beginning remarks. I think the problem with many people's devotional lives, if they even exist, is that people will start in to have some time with the Lord, reading scripture and so, and, th and they have a good thought and they're like, oh, that's good. Oh, that's good too. That's a good, th that's a good too. That's good. And you, you do that for 10 or 15 minutes and you've got seven or eight great thoughts. Mm -hmm. Subsequently, after the passing of, uh, you know, an hour or two into the day where somebody to ask one, um, you know, what did you feel like the Lord said to you in your devotional life? People would typically answer tons of things. Well, tell me one. I can't remember one of them, but I just remember feeling very close to the Lord, like God's word was really speaking to me. Well, that's good, but I don't think that's great. What I like about this method is that it's going to push us to distill to one thought. So let me illustrate. If you're reading uh, the Gospel of John, for example, and you'll just take one g chapter like we were talking about today. So you start in and you're reading and you're not rushing. You're going to give it time to, to sort of percolate in your soul as you're reading. But you'll come upon something and, and say, huh, that's a, that's a good thought. And maybe I'll put a little check there in my Bible um, or a little underline. Then I'll come to something else. That was that's a good response. I need to have more responses like Jesus has. That's a good response. Um, you know, or maybe one or two others. Now, at this point, I'm not going to close it up and say, there, that was good. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to push myself to choose one scripture, one of the verses of the 15, 18, 20, 25, or if you're doing a Bible through the year, you're reading several chapters a day. You're going to go for one verse. Okay. You're going to write the verse down or type it in. And that's your S. Gotcha. Then you'll go to the O. That's the observations. Now, if you have a study Bible, and a lot of times this is helpful, especially if you're just getting started, because you're like, I don't know, what was the context? And it's always important to know the context if I'm going to understand this. You know, okay, in this instance, some um, Pharisees were trying to trap Jesus and sort of to get him to say the wrong thing and, and to trick him. And, okay, that's the context. So, you know, you, you, then you make an observation. Well, I noticed that Jesus answered the question with a question. That might be worth trying sometimes. You know, just, just make, you're just writing that. I noticed Jesus, I observe that Jesus answered the question with a question. Right. Maybe you make another observation or two. Then you move to the application. Okay, how can I apply that learning in my life today. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm having a meeting this afternoon with these people and they want to know about this. And, you know, uh, if I get myself in this awkward situation, maybe I ought to make sure that I'm understanding what it is that they're driving at. Sometimes answering the question with a, you know, so look at that. What Jesus did there has some relevance in my life. And, you know, maybe that'd be a better response than getting hot headed and, you know, in, in the meeting. And, um, and so you're writing down application. And then you move to the P, and that's the prayer, where um, many times 
I'll start off by just saying, you know, Lord, thanks for the truth that you showed me here and, and how timely that is. I need to apply that. And then, you know, then I usually my prayer time because I'm, I'm a typer and I, it helps me to stay focused on what I'm praying for and not to get distracted if I just type my prayer. So I'll usually just go then. And a, a lot of times sort of what Ben was talking about, just unfiltered um, talking with the Lord and just saying, here's everything that's on my heart. Everything is mm -hmm. on my mind. Then last thing. This is cool. Um, once you're done with it, give it a title. So, uh, you know, maybe title would be how to respond to an awkward con in an awkward conversation or responding in an awkward conversation. And just give it a title. Sort of like if anybody was ever reading your devotional journal like you read Oswald Chambers or, or other great saints of the faith, they would see here's what mm -hmm. the title, title. is. Then in your journal, um, leave a few blank pages at the start that you can create an index. Hmm. And so you'll, you'll go and you'll make several columns. The first column is the date, uh, January the 12th, 2015. The scripture is uh, this verse. The title is responding in an awkward situation or you know, whatever the title is. The great thing about doing this is that as you grow and you have one page of index and you have two pages of index and three pages, you really begin to see, I'm hearing from the Lord. And it also is helpful. Sometimes, you know, maybe you're in a grow group and somebody gets sick or gets in a, an emergency and they can't come and they're like, could you share something or could you kind of help lead? One of the great things is you just pull out your devotional journal and say, you know what? Let me share something that I felt like God was really showing me in not my devotional life four days ago. The scripture was this. And now you know the context, and here's some observations that I made, and I sort of saw in my study Bible this is kind of relevant. And, and, and here's how I've been trying to apply that in my life. And, and uh, you know, all of a sudden, you actually have something that you can say of spiritual value mm -hmm. that came from God's word because you were drawing near to him and spending that time with him. So that's the way I love doing it. And it's not for everybody. And there's not one size fits all. Everybody has to figure out how they're going to connect uh, best. But that is the way that year in and year out, I found consistently, I can just always get right back to working on the core and... Um, growing that soul um, when I'm practicing that. Really. And it doesn't require extra books or extra devotionals no. or anything like that. So you have everything that you, you everything need you right yeah, there. Exactly. Um, you mentioned that um, about things, you have to find what works for you. And sure. I know you talked a little bit about that in the message today, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. talking about Gary Thomas's um, uh, Sacred Pathways. Sacred Pathways. Sure. Um, we did include an assessment that you can take um, oh, with our Grow Group questions today. So if you want to download those after PostScript, um, you can take the quiz and see which way you lean more by answering those as well. So kind of which helpful. pathway Which fits pathway fits you, you. best. And yeah. there's a description of all of those available for you as well. So, all right, good. Yeah, good. All right. Well, um, we're going to continue on next week with the breathing room. Part two. All right. And so thank you for joining us today for PostScript. We'll see you back here next week. Thanks for joining us for PostScript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org forward slash postscript.